Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. So the long-awaited review for the new Technifiber T5 305 ISO, the Daniel Medvedev stick is here and guys this racket is a blast so stay tuned. First of all, I really like uh, its style, it suits me well, but uh, also uh, I think what is very good about this racket is that it's perfectly balanced and I like to turn uh, defense into an attack and I feel like with this racket I can perfectly do it. So guys, in this review you will see some footage of me playing with this racket, you've already seen that in the first long video when I was training with the racket for like 50 minutes so you can check my full training with this new racket somewhere here and it was just fantastic and I didn't change my mind until now actually the more I play with the racket the more I like it so it's one of the uh, the, the situations that happen not so oft when I'm testing the rackets that usually today's modern rackets you grab them you play with them and you are like immediately wow you have you, you have this wow effect from every single new tennis racket but with this racket you kind of at the beginning feel like oh it's quite demanding oh it's quite heavy oh it's uh, let's say uh, it is like too much for my style of play and suddenly when you start hitting with the racket more and more after let's say one hour two hours with this racket you're getting into the frame you are like okay now I know you now I know you better than before and I know how to swing with it and, not, and I know how good you are and that's the best situation you can get you can get with any racket that you kind of get into the racket and it's the same like with people with relationships with people sometimes it is much better you have some hard relationship with someone and the relationship eventually develops into some really good friendship than when you are like, when you are like right at the beginning like oh you are so sweet yeah that's a good person right from the first sentence he says it's like yeah we are best friends in, in one hour but after like few days few months you realize that the person is not so good you thought at first sight so this is exactly what happened to me with this racket and i'm familiar with all the technifiber rackets because i'm the technifiber ambassador so guys uh this racket is really really uh really something so it's probably the best tea fight uh technifiber has made to date and i will show you the quality control for this racket right now without further talking because the quality control is really good and you will see also the weight the strong weight the strong balance and of course the swing weight which is quite high so guys check out the quality control test right now so guys let's dive into the quality control test of this new technifiber 305 endorsed by daniel medvedev so this racket is a grip size 2 so it's a 4 and 1 quarter but there is an overgrip added so i will have to first measure the overgrip so this overgrip is from technifiber it is called a contact pro it's i believe 0.6 millimeters thick i have one piece here so let's weight it because the weight will be a little bit more with the overgrip so the overgrip is about 6.75 gram so i will write it down so let's go through all the tests weight balance and swing weight obviously this record is strong it has been strong with the famous 
Technifiber razor coat used by Daniel Medvedev and it's 1.25 millimeters thick and this is the exact specs that Daniel Medvedev endorses or uses. Obviously his racket is probably even more uh, heavier. So let's put it on the scale. three hundred twenty seven point ninety five so I will take a picture for you so three twenty seven point nine so let's say without the overgrip it is about let's say three uh, twenty one three twenty one one picture for you three twenty one without uh, the overgrip so if we take into account the strings we need to put away let's say 16 to 17 gram so 321 strunk 321 strung without the strings it should be around let's say 3 300 and yeah 305 306 so it looks it looks actually 300 and yeah let's say 305 maybe 300 sorry maybe 304 so it actually looks really good with the overall weight so now let's test the balance so the specs are the same as for the previous generation the unstrung balance is 325 and strung so strung it looks like guys it looks like say 3 329 or 330 but once again we need to take into account there is the overgrip so without without the strings the unstrung weight is with the overgrip is about let's say three three nineteen three nineteen let's say but if we take away the overgrip it looks like it looks like it will be more head heavy so I believe without the overgrip it should be around let's say the 324 325 so once again really good number so 329 millimeters and now the most interesting part obviously for for all of you so the swing weight so the previous generation I have here the previous generation although it is quite heavily customized so I can compare it right now with the swing weight because this swing weight guys this swing weight of this racket customized for not for my taste but I just fiddled with the specs is over 340 swing weight so this is a crazy racket I can't play with it uh, I can't play with this racket like more than half an hour and then I'm totally dead but I will make a video about it how I customize it so you you can you can customize it yourself to the feel of the let's say of the pro stock racket but this newest generation it should have swing weight around 330 around because the previous generation was according to tennis warehouse numbers about 333 so let's try this so uh, once again the machine is calibrated I'm doing it before every single video so looks good 
Oh, I need to turn it a little bit. Need to center, center the racket a little bit better. Now it looks good. So I hope you will see the number. So let's try it. I believe it's still around 330, but maybe a little bit less. Yeah, 331. I felt, I felt actually during uh, my testing, during uh, play with this racket, that the racket feels a little bit easier to play with, but still it's a beast. It's a beast racket. So guys, to sum it up, Remember, it's a strong racket. So I will tell you firstly the strong specs. So weight, 321 gram with the razor cord, razor uh, coat string 1.25 millimeters. So if we uh, put away the strings that are around 16 to 17 gram, then the weight is actually perfect. It's about 304 and 305. So really, really good job from Technifiber. Balance, once again, strong and with the over grip. So it's 329 millimeters. If we put away the strings, so it's around 319. But remember, there is the overgrip so 319 when we put away the overgrip it could be around 325 so once again really good job from technifiber and the last number swing weight 331 uh, guys this racket is really demanding so prepare for yourself if you play with this racket that you will need to have lots of power, lots of stamina and obviously great technique to swing this racket properly. So this was my quality control test for the newest T5 305 endorsed by Daniel Medvedev. So guys, as you can see, this racket is a beast. So the swing weight about 331 or maybe even higher, it depends on the strings you put into the racket. So it's quite demanding. It's actually one of the most demanding tennis rackets in this weight category. So 305 gram and swing weight of 331, that's, that's a lot, that's a lot. That's on the same level as with the Wilson Pro Stuff 90 RF97, the Roger Federer's racket. But that's a racket that weighs about 340 grams. And this is 35 grams lighter. And it packs the same, let's say, power, the same flow through. It's just amazing. And that's because of the specification. So the frame 305 gram unstrung, the balance 325 millimeters. So it's like more into it not more into the head but it's more into the head compared to let's say some other rackets or some other brands that they make the 305 or 300 gram racket so so the the the, the weight distribution of this racket you kind of feel like from this part from the from the center of the throat and it goes like into this section so it's like in the, let's say, in the middle of the racket, in the center of the racket, you feel the mass. So you really kind of feel you have it in your hand, but the, the, the blow through is really good. So uh, maybe compared to some rackets that are balanced more to the handle, this racket is not so easy to maneuver with. The maneuverability is not so easy, let's say, but if you if you make your uh, swing a little bit more uh, fluid, more smooth, then you will start benefiting from this racket. So as you as you, when you watch Daniel Medvedev, he has some really specific technique. He is like he is like he's very he's very let's say. Uh, I would say fast with his strokes, but at the same time, his hand is like this. 
yeah and he is like pushing his backhand like this and this is exactly uh, how you should also try to play with this racket but what surprised me very much is the spin so back to the specification so the head size 630 square centimeters it's a 98 inch head size uh, precision wise precision is really good with this but the string pattern 18 by 19 it's not 18 by 20 it's 18 by 19 like with the previous generation and this adds extra spin extra precision but it's not too let's say muted so if you play with the 18 by 20 string pattern sometimes it's too hard for let's say for a club level or advanced intermediate advanced level of player but sorry but with the 18 by 19 string pattern you get everything you get the precision you get the spin you get the power so i'm surprised actually that that there are not more of these string patterns in modern rackets because it works it works amazingly it works so good so uh the tension recommended tension 23 to 25 it's kilos it's 50 to 55 pounds so i recommend like the 25 and 24 kilos so this racket right now is strung with the razor coat technifiber razor coat it's the string used by daniel medvedev and it is a blast with this with this uh, frame so i recommend it for someone who is more aggressive who is going for the ball who is trying to outplay your opponent outsmart your opponent and yeah i like that very much so the stiffness of this frame is 64 ra so it's a quite flexible racket we usually see from technifiber they're making more stiff rackets stiffer rackets with stiffness around let's say 68 69 70 ra but this one is quite it's quite flexible but the stability wow it's a chapter of yourself it's it's, it's chapter of its own the stability is one of the best stability rackets i've played with uh, so the best shots with these rackets must be definitely the sliced shots i really like the sliced forehand uh, when i'm attacking the second serve when someone plays serve with lots of kick lots of spin i'm not playing uh, top spin back i'm playing this slice forehand and after that you can do anything you can attack the net you can play a uh, stop uh, you can play a uh, short ball you can do anything you can really play with your opponent and uh, what's really good is also the slice from the backhand side because sometimes i feel like this the today's modern rackets they lack the stability on the sliced strokes especially on the backhand slice where you need the mass and that's exactly why this record is so good because the mass is from here and there and you definitely feel the slice when you play when you play the slice stroke you feel it like here because the slice is played differently it's played from the upper from the up you play down that's a different type of stroke so spin you play from down to up to to to, to up and this the slice is from up and down and that's why the stability is so good because the mass is like from here and it goes right there and it really helps you when you go on net that's another chapter so good it's comparable only with Yonex Vcore Pro racket. So the stability and the feedback is instant. It you just hit the ball and it goes right where you want to go, and you have great feedback. It goes through the frame right into your hand, and it is so. Uh, how can I describe it? Crisp, crisp, clean. The racket talks with you. So it's like. You play your, your wallet and the record is telling you like, yeah, that's good, that's good, you're doing a great job. You, you do a slight mistake with the frame, like you hit it a little bit too late and this record is like, no, 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 you need to, you need to play it uh, more in front of your body. 
and this is how this record is like talking to you instantly and and all the time with every shot it's like you have another partner with you even though you are alone on the court so that's great you really create a relationship with this record and that's that's something really rare in a tennis racket industry so I like that very much so <clears throat> on surf beautiful blow through you hit the ball once again the head goes like this instantly without any problems great kick great uh, straight serve great great speed great power and when we're talking about the power I forgot to mention the biggest difference from the previous generation from the RS generation where is the RS so this is the RS version the RS it is called because of the RS section of the frame so of the throat the shape of the throat is called RS it is the same with the newest generation but Dave added the isoflex grommets which is this and that's why the record is called the iso so the previous one was the rs 305 rs rs section they introduced the new technology there and right now with this newest version they're introducing once again the isoflex technology which was in the tfx1 records so if you didn't see oops if you didn't see the video about the TFX1 records you can find it somewhere here just click on it and these isoflex grommets they help the strings to move more because you can see there are holes in these grommets they are wider from the outside they are on the 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock and on the 12 o'clock too and they help the strings to bend more to move more so when you hit the ball the grommets are kind of pushed inside the frame the strings they bend more that's why the racket uh, creates more free power for you and at the same time it creates a bigger spin bigger pop the sweet spot of the racket is now also bigger because the strings they bend more even on the sides when you hit the ball right here it bends more because of the isoflex grommets and it's kind of softened the impact of course so these are small tweaks to the frame that make such a big difference and technifiber calls this dynamic control so this record is more dynamic than the previous one with more power but with the same amount of control and precision and that is exactly what we need in today's modern tennis we need to play fast we need to play aggressive but at the same time you need to play with lots of precision and this record has it all has it all there is uh I would I would say almost there is no other record for my taste or for my let's say style of play they achieves that achieves so so much so much in all the aspects I need so uh, it's not for a typical um, uh, style of play maybe for someone who is more attacking on the attacking side but i think that you can use it also when you are in some defense but then you need to switch back to attacking mode very good about this racket is that it's perfectly balanced and i like to turn defense into attack and i feel like with this racket i can perfectly do it but it will also help you in some with some defensive shots but mostly for someone who is attacking and it's so good that that technifiber is one of the brands that has only like three versions of their records they have the t-fight series for the attacking players they have the uh, rebound or now it is named the tempo records for women and then they have the tfx1 records for let's say recreation and club level players and that's all it is easy to navigate through these series to to find your best 
racket and the T fight it's all about fighting going for the point attacking being aggressive but with a nice touch with a nice feel with nice playful feeling and this racket this particular version is for some advanced and uh, experienced and serious players who are playing team competitions who are playing like three four times a week three four five times a week who are willing to learn the tennis even more and more who are working on them on themselves who are working on on being better and better so it's not for someone who is like uh, I'm done I I'm I don't want to learn anything new I want to stay in the same condition in the same shape like I am and I don't want to develop into a better play no this record is for someone who wants to be an even better player than than he is right now so uh, this record will push you into the very limits and even though even after you hit your limits the record will be there to to work for you to help you to to be a great partner with you because the potential of this racket is kind of I feel like it's unlimited actually so it works with every stroke every single stroke I tried with the racket it works and that's really something rare so guys uh, tell me in the comments are you interested in the newest Daniel Medvedev's tennis racket are you interested in a frame that kind of achieves everything are you interested in Technifiber as a brand that is really developing into a, a very competitive brand that can smash out the head Wilson and Babolat competition guys this record is a blast it's just fantastic just buy it just buy it there is I believe no no hesitation point to not to try and not to buy this record because it is so good so uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this frame uh, let me know did you like this review let me know if you didn't of course you can if you like the video click the thumbs up if you didn't click the thumbs down and if you want to support my channel greatly just buy me a coffee the link is below in the description and I will thank you very much and for now guys enjoy the summer enjoy tennis every time every day play tennis every time and every day and these rackets they're coming out like now in in august maybe later in august so check out all your favorite uh, stores and yeah great racket great design love it i love it so guys thank you for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye guys